What's up guys, Matt and Blake from the Football Boots team and what we have for you guys today is a video looking at every single Nike football boot available on the market of today to help you guys pick the very best boot for you in terms of your playing style and also your own player budget. Now thanks to Enter Soccer Shop we do have some boots of the latest Lock and Let Loose pack to help us out with this video but what we will be looking at is the entire collection looking at every silo and every model in that specific range so let's get right into the first one to help you guys decide which is the best boot for you. Starting us off, we've got the Hyven and Fatal 3s, but obviously the Hyven and range does start before that in terms of scaled down football boots, and it starts with the Fade 3. So although we do have the Fatals, Blake, talk us through what the Fades are all about. So the Fade 3 is pretty much an entry level football boot. It's the cheapest range in the Hyven collection. It is 50 pounds, so really, really cheap boot in terms of overall quality, but overall it's just got a standard synthetic upper, what do we have next on the list, Matty? Well, coming after the fades, we've got the Felon 3s. And the one massive difference between the fades and the Felons is that the Felons actually come with a Nike skin upper, which is a massive improvement to have. I think if there was one thing that was a bit of a shame about the lowest Nike products, although they're a bit cheap, the uppers might be a little bit cheap at the same time. But Nike skin, as you all know, is very nice. So what is the next one in the high venom range? So the Felon 3 is 60 pounds, but mm -hmm. you can also get a Felon 3 DF. For the first time ever, you can get it in the lock and let loose pack as well as that pitch dark pack so pretty much the same boot but with an additional dynamic fit collar now this one Matty what is this so we've actually got the Fatal 3s in hand and they're actually very similar to the Felon 3DS but one massive thing that I've noticed the difference is, is the actual tongue region. Now they both do feature a dynamic fit collar, but on the Fatal, I just find it so much more seamless. What you find on the scaled down version is a little bit similar to what we found on the Phantom 2s, where we've got the upper and then it becomes a sock-like fit. But this time it's much more seamless, which is gonna give you an overall better, more sock-like fit. Now, alongside the more seamless fit, with these Fatals costing £150, so quite a big step up in price, one other really nice thing is that you actually get the same hyperactive sole plate as found on the Elite Phantom 3 models, so a massive plus because the sole plate built for that on-pitch, pacey performance, and that's exactly what you get from the hyperactive. But alongside this Fatal 3, we then get the Elite models, which Blaze is gonna talk us through now. So the two Elite models is the Hyphen Phantom 3 Low and the Hyphen Phantom 3 DF. Now the DF is 250 pounds, so it's the highest end in terms of price for a hybrid model. Again, it's very, very high grade. For the hybrid Phantom 3 Low, it's got no collar. It's that traditional low cut design. But as again, we see Flynet, we see pour on pods, we see that hyperreactive sole plate also seen on the Fatal 3 DF. And as well as that, we've got Flywire cables on both sides of the boots. Again, the first time we've seen Flywire on a hybrid model, 200 pounds or 250 pounds for the two premium ranges in the hybrid Phantom 3. So let's put the high venom silo aside and there's some really great options ranging from 50 pounds to 250. So as I said, there are some great options for any player style, any player budgets. Now let's get into our next Nike silo, the Mercurials. Now what we have in hand is not what we're gonna start talking about because we are starting to talk about the Vortex 3s. 50 pounds for the Vortex, which is actually really nice and affordable, but the big deal is it doesn't feature a collar and also it's quite a cheap synthetic upper, but for 50 pounds, what can you really expect? But next up in the Mercurial silo is what? So the range above the Vortex 3 is the Victory 6, and you can get a Victory 6 DF, which is 80 pounds, and a Victory 6 Low Cut Edition, which is 65 pounds. So again, very similar to that Felon range in terms of quality. What is the next range on the list? Well, the next range on the list is what we have in hand, and that is the Veloz 3 DF, which costs 145 pounds. So again, a bit of a jump up in price, but there's actually some really nice differences. For me, just like what we found on the high vendors, when you do get up that little bit of a scale, the overall fit is much more seamless and that comes from the upper all the way to the dynamic fit collar and the upper itself is much nicer softer flex compared to the lower scale and this time is where we see ties in for the first time but instead of being the one we find on the vapor it's actually a slightly scaled down one called ties in avail so in terms of quality we're up to the vapor 11 which is 190 pounds and in terms of tech specs it's actually quite similar to the veloc 3 df now overall, the Vapor 11 is one of the highest grade synthetic boots you can get. It's very, very thin. That Tyson synthetic upper has been on Vapors for over a decade now and it's such a high grade material. For a synthetic football boot, you've got that contoured mirrored chassis. The best thing about that boot is the chassis, I think, because it's gonna mirror the shape of your foot. It's quite narrow, but overall, it's a very, very high grade sole plate. What is the next one, Matty? Well, the Vapor 11 coming up next is the Mercurial Superfly 5. Unbelievable pair of four boots these are. The Flyknit Upper I love so much. 
It's probably my best thing about that boot. You've mentioned about the Vape 11, having that contoured sole plate. The Superfly has exactly the same, but for me, the upper is just so premium, made out of flying it, really thin layer of Nike skin on top, and it's also got all the added benefits of flywire cables, a little dynamic fit curl as well, which you hope in the future will be made a little bit shorter. But that is the Mercurial range all wrapped up. So let's put those boots aside, box on the floor, and bring in our next silo. We've had the Hyphen and we've had the Recruit, which have got about six different models in their ranges. Next up, we've got the Tiempo, so boots out of the box, and boots are now on the table, and Blake's gonna talk us through the most scaled down Tiempo available. So we're talking about the Tiempo Legera Force. Now this is probably one of the best value for money scaled down ranges you can get from Nike Football. Overall, it is 60 pounds, it doesn't have K leather, it has a calf leather upper. So kids wanting a Tiempo Legend but can't afford that, definitely try the Tiempo Legera 4. What is the next one, Matty? Well, up next is what we have in our hands, and that is the Legacy 3s. And trust me, this should be a pair of boots that almost every single footballer out there should seriously check out. Firstly, the price, £120. And why that is so good is because it features almost the exact same K-Leather upper as the Legend 7, but is much more affordable. Okay, it doesn't feature flying it on the heel cup, but it still does feature the flywire cables, so you can customise the fit and make it very locked down and responsive. All right, it doesn't have the hyper stability sole plate but overall this is such a phenomenal model from nike and i can't stress to you guys enough you should check these out for sure but it's not the most elite level in the tempo brand blake because what is that so it's the legend 7 and that is 190 pounds so and the legend 6 you could get that for 160 pounds so 30 pounds increase for the Tempo Legend 7, which in my eyes is probably actually a wise decision. It's gonna be much more durable than Legend 6, and it's got a lot more tech specs about the boot to make it a bit more of a talking point. On the sole plate, we see that hyper stability sole plate, so on this Legacy version, we don't see that. See the same stud configuration, but again, we see Flyknit on the back of the boot and those flywire cables with those last three eyelets, and overall the same K leather upper as on the Legacy. Overall, a very, very stunning boot, and I think the Legacy is actually a more value for money option than the Legend 7 this time around. Tiempo all wrapped up, so let's get into the Magista Magista. Now, what is the most scaled down, but also the most affordable boot in the Magista silo, Blake Rice? That is the Magista Ola, so the same sort of entry level range as the Fade and the Vortex we mentioned earlier. So in terms of quality, it's actually quite poor, but for 45 pounds or slash 50 pounds, it's actually quite good value for money. What is the next one? Well, we've now got the Onda 2, and there is actually quite a big difference between the Ola and the Onda 2. Trust me, even when you see it in pictures, yep. you really can see the difference in the upper and also the overall shape. It just looks much more like a high-performing football boot over the Ola, which is brilliant just for those entry-level footballers if they're young, if they're old. Great boot, great price, but alongside the Onda, what is the next one? It's a slight alternative. So it's pretty much the same as the Onda. I'm gonna talk the Onda 2 DF. You can get that for 80 pounds, and the Onda 2 is for 60 pounds. So the same as the Mercurial and the Hyphen Rangers in terms of their third scale downs or their second scale downs. But overall, the next range we will be talking about is the Auden 2, which we have in our hands. This is a DF version. I actually really, really rate this model. It's actually a first scale down boot of the Magista range. So the upper itself is very similar to the Avail synthetic you saw on the Mercurial Veloc. But overall, I actually really, really rate this boot. The upper is actually really nice. You got the name of fit collar. The same sole plate we see on the Magista Obra 2 with that rotational traction system on the forefoot there. So overall, really, really good value for money. You can get this for 145 pounds. What is the next one, Maddie? Well, before we move on to the next model, this really is a great value for money for And I know there's so many of you guys out there, especially you young watchers who do prefer the collar. So if that is the case, we would definitely recommend getting this, maybe even over the Obra 2, just because they're so similar. They look extremely similar. And also in terms of performance, there's not that much difference. But the next boot higher up in the Magista list is the Opus 2, £190, so an elite level boot, and it's got such a nice Kanga light upper. When it first came out, the 2, it wasn't that great. Nike took it back to the drawing board and released such a nicer one. And the thing is, you're gonna see the exact same sole plate as we've just seen on the Orden, on the Opus 2, but it doesn't just stop there for the Magista, because apart from the Opus 2, we've got the Collid Watt Blake. So the Magista Obra 2 for £250, and I actually really, really rate this model. It's not the most popular Collid flying version by Nike Football, you probably see the Superfly and the Hub and Phantom 3, the more popular version, but the Obra 2 sits in that sort of third spot. It's a very, very high grade football boot. You got that Flyknit upper with those pour and pods, a very, very comfortable synthetic Flyknit football boot. 
So we've quickly went over every single pair of boots that Nike has to offer at the moment. But at the end of the day, which one really is the best for you? Now we know a lot of our viewers out there are those young kids. Now we know you also like collared football boots. So what we're gonna do is tell you our opinion, the best ones you can get in terms of looks, performance, and price. So Blake, in terms of every silo, what should they get? So I think for the Hyphen and range, the best option is probably the Hyphen and Felon 3DF. Now it's the first time we've seen a collar on the Felon range. So kids wanting a Hyphen, but knowing that you couldn't get a collar, you can now on the Felon 3DF just for 80 pounds. And the next one is the Victory 6DF. Now this one has a collar. The Mercura range has had a collar before on the Victory range, and that is definitely a good value for money option. Next one is this Legacy 3, which in my eyes is the best Best value for money range by Nike Football at the moment. It's a very, very high grade Kalia the upper. And the last one on the Magista is the Magista on the 2DF, which is this model, which is very similar in terms of the Obra 2 in terms of performance. So guys, there it is. Every single pair of boots that Nike have to offer at the moment. But the poll card for today is out of the four boots that Blake actually mentioned were his best picks. Which one would you guys go for? So please vote in the poll card for that now. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching as always. We'll see you next time.